What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and we are back in 2013 with a whole bunch of new videos starting with this one today and in this video I'm going to be doing my brand new setup video the most requested video I get and that is my room tour So here we are guys, sorry about the break and thank you all for sticking with me there. If you want to check out the reasons why, head over to my vlog channel and subscribe over there. I will leave a link down in the description below. So like I said, this is my most requested video. A few things have changed since the room tour last time and actually in a few weeks I'm going to be doing a new house tour as well because that's completely changed as well. So starting off today, we're going to break straight into the room tour. I'm going to pick up the camera and I'll be back with you in just a second. And please do not forget, hit like on this video for me guys, it really does make my day. So here we are guys, this is going to be my room tour. And just before we start, I'm just going to give you a broad overview of the room so you can kind of see it from all angles. So. First of all, we've got my main desk there where I sit on a day-to-day -day basis with all of my screens and various other bits and pieces. And in fact, what I've done as well is I've left a lot of my computers and laptops and tablets in their cases, the Mujo cases there. There's a video for all of this stuff as well on my channel, so if you want to see anything in more detail, just do a search for it. If there's anything I haven't done a video on that you guys would like to see, just leave a comment down below and I will get around to doing that video for you as soon as possible. So anyway, there's the screens and the desk. Let's just work our way around. This over here, I call it my white desk, and for obvious reasons, you can see, everything is white on that desk. Got an old iMac G4 there, my favorite ever Mac, and some various other bits that we'll cover off in some more detail. Over in this corner, we've got my little kind of lounge area. Now that hideous looking sofa there is not going to stay. I'm still looking for a nice one that will slot nicely into that corner. But on the table there that you can see, which is made out of old Power Max, I kind of sit there, put my feet up on this coffee table, and then I can watch the big screen TV over there or play Xbox with my little boy or watch Sky or whatever the case may be. And then we've got the window here, the one and only window. I'll just open that up and in fact, you can see my car there just outside. Loads and loads of snow around at the moment. But let's get back to the details of the room tour. Over here in the corner, like I just said, we've got my TV, Xbox and Sky and all that kind of thing. And then I've got this new white wardrobe here that's got all my kind of accessories and bits and pieces in, just with some stuff there on the top, including my printer. But let's get into some detail and start looking at some of these items in a little bit more detail. So first up, and a lot of you will already know this, but here on the desk we've got six monitors. On the top we've got three 24 inch LCD Dell monitors. Not particularly sure on the model of those, but I'm actually gonna be replacing those top three monitors this year. So if anyone's got any good ideas of some nice LED 27 inch LED monitors or 24 inch LED monitors let me know because I'm going to be changing those up and I'll obviously bring you guys a video on that and then down here on the bottom we've got my three 27 inch Apple cinema displays these aren't the Thunderbolt ones these are the Apple cinema displays and then connected to that and powering up everything up we've got the 2010 Mac Pro now this one is the quad core edition it's got 32 gigabytes of RAM and I've got a 512 gigabyte SSD in there from Crucial. Again, there's a video for that on my channel. And I've also got three one terabyte hard drives, I believe, in a RAID 0. Now, in fact, while we're here, you can see I've got a whole bunch of storage. Picture of my little son up there. I've got loads of storage all underneath the desk. You can see all the drawers there and over on the left-hand side as well. Now, on the desk itself, and obviously, I don't leave these things like this all the time. The desk itself, with the mouse and the keyboard I do, and maybe a couple of phones, but I've left a lot of this stuff out just so I can kind of show you guys in the video. And obviously, I don't use all these tablets all the time, all these phones all the time. A lot of them are for review purposes or things that I've bought that I just haven't sold yet. So they're not all my daily drivers, but I'll let you know what ones are as we go around. So first up here, 
and one of my favorite devices at the moment, we have got the Nexus 10 with that beautiful high res display. Really, really been enjoying the physical hardware of the Nexus 10, especially for the price that you can actually get it for an extremely good tablet. I just really wish that there were more high res apps and tablet specific apps on the Google Play Store. Next to that, we have got the Kindle HD. Now, I'm not particularly a fan of this tablet. It's extremely cheap and you can get some fantastic content on it and it's a nice form factor as well, but the Nexus 7 definitely is vastly superior to this particular Amazon tablet. Unless you're looking for something extremely simple that really is just all about content and some few basic applications. Now, next up here on the side there, we've got the pin thing for my internet banking. Got a Logitech controller there for the sound system, which I don't actually use anymore because I have replaced it with the Bose, I think it's Companion 5 speakers that I bought just a little while ago, actually off of Gumtree secondhand. But let's go through some of these items that I've got here. I left them in the cases so you could see what cases I use. So first up in this little neoprene case here that you can pick up extremely cheap from Amazon, we have got the brand new iPod Touch. This is the, I believe it's the fifth generation iPod Touch. And I absolutely love this. If only the iPhone had this design and this slimness, it really is a fantastic device and I like using it a hell of a lot. In fact, I tend to carry this around with a Wi-Fi, a MiFi box, and then I just use this instead of my iPhone quite a lot of the time, just because I absolutely love the form factor and the design. Absolute joy to use. Now, next up, again, in one of these little neoprene cases, and this kind of fits in nicely with the Nexus 10 tablet, and that is the Nexus 4 phone with that beautiful back on it as well. Quite difficult to, to see on camera, but it's got a really nice kind of glittery back on it. And again, for the price, this phone is absolutely immense. Really, really loving the Nexus 4. And I'm gonna be doing some more videos on these Nexus devices because I've been away during the time when I should have been reviewing them, but we'll come back to them and then I can kind of give you some updates on how they are after sort of three, four months worth of usage. But a fantastic device for the money. Next up here, we have got the Sony Xperia S, and I just can't get rid of this thing. I just kind of love it. Every so often, I just like to use it. It's just such a beautiful phone. Really, really nice sort of build quality. Nice to hold in the hand, and I really love the screen as well on this. Running Android 4.1, I believe, as well. So nice phone, the Sony Xperia S. Now, next up, we have my two BlackBerry devices. Now this one, the Bold 9900, I used to use for running one of my businesses, Honey Management, you can check that out at honey-management.com. But actually, since I've had that, and I really do like the, the BlackBerry Bold 9900, really looking forward to the new range of BlackBerry 10s, and I will be talking to you a lot about the BlackBerry 10 devices because I'm gonna be part of their VIP Elite program. But I've actually upgraded that to one of my favorite designed phones. You either love it or you hate it, and this is the Porsche Design BlackBerry Bold, and I think it's just absolutely spectacular. The P9981, absolutely love that phone, and I use this as one of my daily phones to run that business that we just spoke about. So next up here on the desk, we've got my Galaxy S3 charger. This is the official one from Samsung themselves. And if you open this up here in the back, it carries a spare battery and you can also put your phone in it as well. Now, further along, we've got the Nikon Coolpix P7700. Gonna be doing some videos on this camera. It's a kind of compact, um, camera but it's got some really really nice features including that flip out screen there on the back along with full 1080p video and this is actually one of the only sort of compact ish cameras that has full manual controls as well as a microphone import so that's one of the reasons why I bought it now next up here in again the original Samsung Galaxy S3 flip case just sitting on a little plastic stand there. This is the flip case from Samsung themselves and then you just flip this open 
and the phone is automatically turned on. And the great thing about this is it's actually built into the back casing. So you just literally slip the back casing on and then this cover is part of the front protection for the Galaxy S3. Love the little logo down there as well. A really, really nice case for the Galaxy S3. Now, next up here, just underneath my middle monitor, we have got the little iHub, and there's videos for that over on my vlog channel. Got a few things plugged into that. There's a card reader there at the back, and here we have my Zoom H, I think it's an H4 or an H2, I'm not, I can't remember what it is, but again, there's videos up on the channel. And I absolutely love this microphone. USB powered or battery powered, you can take it away and use it as a standalone microphone that recalls to an SD card, or you can have it powered via the USB port. It's got a nice little LCD display there on the front. You can see it going up and down as we're talking. And I just really love this microphone. It's the best one that I've used that is pluggable into your computer. Now, next up, and something I've literally just got, this is the Nike Fuel Band, and this just plugs directly via USB port into your computer. You can sync it up. There's an application for it. It's a really fantastic bit of kit for monitoring all of your exercise, and you just wear it like a, like a watch or a wristband and just charge it every night using the USB port, and that literally monitors all of your kind of exercise activities. So, really, really impressed with that. Got it as a Christmas present. Looking forward to using it more. And here, like I said, we've got the controller for my Bose Companion 5 speakers. You just touch that and it turns it off and on to mute it. And then you just turn the wheel here to turn the volume up and down. And then we've also got some ports there on the front. And the sound quality of these Bose speakers is just absolutely fantastic. The clarity is just immense and I've really, really loved getting them. I'm so glad I kind of upgraded from the Logitech system that I had before, even though that was a fantastic sounding system, it's quite large and it uses uh, a hell of a lot of space up. Now next up here, just sitting on the desk, these are my Alpha Brain tablets and these are actually loads and loads of nutrients, they're called nootropics, for kind of, I don't know, stimulating your brain, giving you extra sort of oomph in the brain department if you like. And there's loads and loads of kind of nutrients in there that do your brain a hell of a lot of good. And I take them kind of a couple of times a day. So really, really like those tablets. Now, next up, just a few little kind of odds and bobs here. We've got one of my Bulgari rings there that I wear all the time. That's the black one. I've got the white one on at the moment. We've got this Kingston HyperX USB 3 drive, 128 gig. Fantastic. Extremely fast and portable and with a lot of storage as well. Got my RSA token there as well for getting remote access into some enterprise sections of the internet that I need to get into. And then we've got my three MiFi. Now, as you can see, this is absolutely huge because I actually went out, it's a bit damaged actually, but I went out and bought this extra large battery from Amazon. It was about 30 pounds and it actually makes the battery last on this thing literally a full day and then some. So really, really useful for carrying around with you to get nice 3G access on the go. Next up, we've got my little hand control there and that is for controlling the extra bright lights in the room. It just switches them on and off. Got the key for my car and then we've also got like a little thing that came out of a cracker that I find quite useful. It's like a spirit level and a screwdriver and a whole bunch of other stuff in one. So pretty useful that. I've just kind of kept it hanging around. Now, next up, we've got my Magic Mouse, which I love. I know a lot of people don't like this mouse, but I really like it. And then we've got the full-size keyboard, the wired keyboard. I keep that because I've just got to have the number pad. And then on the left-hand side here, we have got the trackpad. Now, I've got this in this formation where you have the trackpad on the left and the mouse on the right. And I've been using them both at the same time. So, left hand there on the trackpad, right hand on the mouse. And you can sort of do different things with different objects and I've kind of got used to using the trackpad left-handed now so when it's better to use that I switch over to that and when it's better to use the mouse I switch over to that and I'm really liking this kind of combination of the three devices there. So first up here and I will just get this one out we have got the HTC One X. It's funny because this HTC One X although the Samsung Galaxy S3 is a better phone 
I do much prefer HTC Sense to the one that Samsung use, which has totally escaped me at the moment, TouchWiz. Um, I just love this phone, and I'm actually going to upgrade this to the HTC One X Plus. So really, really looking forward to kind of getting that, and I'll obviously bring you guys all the videos on that. But that just fits nicely into that little Mujo case there. Won't be able to put that back in. Now, first up in these cases, we have got the top one, which is the Mac Mini. Sorry, not the Mac Mini, the iPad Mini. And a lot of people saying that they think this should have been the main iPad all along. Sorry, had to use my teeth there to take that off. Um, I absolutely love this. It's a fantastic device, it really is. And I just wish it came with the retina screen. But I love the form factor, love the thinness of it, the lightness. And I tend to find myself using this a hell of a lot. Um, more than I actually ever did my iPad just because it's so portable. Really, really love that device. And it's always a toss up between whether taking that one or whether taking the Nexus 7, but I just find the application the selection on the iPad, uh, the Apple device is just that much better, especially from a, a kind of tablet world. Now, next up in this case, we've got the iPad 4th gen. And in fact, this is a 3G one as well, 64 gig white 3G. And this is the one that I usually carry around to do presentations on and stuff like that for work. Plug it into a projector and it just saves you carrying a laptop around. Now next up in this case here, probably won't be able to get this out, but this is the 2012 Ivy Bridge 13 inch MacBook Air. Fantastic device, great when you're traveling. And then last up, my favorite current bit of Apple kit, and has been for some time, I won't bother getting it out, but it is the 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro. And I just love the screen on this thing, it's absolutely beautiful, the power is ridiculous, the battery lasts for a long time, and I'm just in love with that, that particular device. It, it really is exceptional. So, let's move our way around, guys. Oh, a lot of people always say to me, what is the desk? Um, the desk is a, it's called a Quick Lock, Q-U-I-K-L-O-K-Z-600. Uh, and in fact, if we come around the side here, you can see it's kind of got two levels. So the top one is sit on the top level, and then the bottom one sit on the bottom one. I think it's meant for kind of music studios and things like that, but it really is a great desk for this kind of setup. And in fact, if we go around the back here, you can see my old Logitech speakers, and you can also see my cable management as well with these kind of gray tubes. So, let's work our way around a bit further. Over here on the side, we have got the BlackBerry Playbook. And then I've just got this new device in from VO, and this is called the X-Lapse. And you can actually put your phone in the top, set it on a timer, and it will just spin round, doing a full 360 degree degree time lapse with your phone or even a camera and it's even got a tripod port underneath so looking forward to bringing you some tests on that one uh, there we've got a picture of me and Jade in fact there's a whole book of pictures that we had made that's got loads of pictures of me and Jade and various other bits and pieces in there so I just kind of keep that there for safekeeping now We've got the mirror there on the wall. That is the iMac G5 mirror. So that's literally just made out of the front case of an old iMac with a mirror put in the front of it. And there you can go, you can see me there. <laughs> uh, just a kind of nice thing to have laying around. Now we're on to the white desk. And I'll just talk you guys through what I've got here. So the desk itself is from Staples. I think I got it for £100. I think it was £99 or maybe £199, I can't really remember. On the floor there we've got my bag that I always carry to take my laptops and various other devices around with me. And it's actually got a little blue light underneath it that just kind of looks nice in some sort of more subdued lighting. Now on the desk itself, over here we've got another iPad there. This one is a fourth gen iPad again, it's got that stupid little adapter. And then this little box here is a Sonoro box that you can plug it into. And that's just for listening to music. And it's a beautiful, beautiful device from Germany. Video up on the channel and it just gives gorgeous, gorgeous sound quality. Next up, one of my most prized possessions. This is my iMac G4. And this really is just beautiful. I just love this old fashioned, old style iMac with the kind of chrome bar and the dome base there at the bottom. This is a 21 inch version I believe 
and I just I just can't get rid of it because it's just beautiful and quite often when people come around they sit here and surf the net and it's just quite a nice tranquil environment with this just sort of white going on here to just sort of sit and chill out listen to music and surf the net on that that old computer sitting behind there we've got an old MacBook oh what is that it's an iBook G3 I believe perfect condition everything about it so I'm just kind of keeping these things nice and clean and then we've got a brand new iPod Classic, which her Jade actually got me for Christmas. Fantastic, because it's just got that 160 gigabyte of storage and you can literally fit all your music on it, or I can anyway. Underneath here, we've got this little holder that's a kind of iMac G4 replica, which is pretty cool. There's videos of that over on my vlog channel. And then we've got this little digital reader here, which tells you the temperature, the date, and also the humidity as well. So just a cool little kind of clock, really. Also here on the corner, I've just got this charging at the moment. This is my um, iPhone 5 white 64 gig version. And then in the drawer here, I just got loads of kind of battery chargers and stuff like that. There's power in there. So it just keeps all of that stuff kind of out of the way. Now, as we work our way around, we've got my Nikon D7000. And this is actually attached to a defocus uh, rig, which gives you that beautiful kind of smooth focusing so you can just pan in and out of objects and get that really really nice follow focus rather than having to turn the actual lens itself that's sitting on a tripod of some description over here in the corner we've got that sofa that i absolutely hate but it does the job for the minute until i can find one that i really like and then we've got my shelves up here now I'll just work my way along we've got a little helicopter there on the left hand side which is actually controlled via your phone. Got a Lego helicopter there that I made with my son. And then we've got a little Synology animal there as well. Uh, got a flask uh, cup thing there that looks like a lens. Uh, something my granddad passed down when he, when he passed away. Got my first pair of Muay Thai gloves up there as well. And then we've got another car that's controlled via your eye device as well. Here we've got my little mini mirror book airs along with an eye hub and a little iUSB reader, a picture of my son there with my mum and dad's dog, Al Pacino, beautiful, love that little bit of art there. Um, some of my watches we've got up here, I'm kind of a watch lover um, and I just keep them in that little ashtray thing there. Some boxes for some aftershave and then we have got my little Steve Jobs character along with some Lord of the Rings limited edition glasses or cups or stainless steel cups, whatever you want to call them. And then we've got a picture of the Arsenal Emirates Stadium etched into a glass box, which I absolutely love. Someone gave me that. Now, over on the wall, we've got some pictures. I'm a huge, huge, huge Bruce Lee fan. Got that original print there up on the top. And then I've got this poster that I found, this Think Different poster that I found on Amazon, no, eBay, sorry. Uh, it was only about three or four pounds, but I just absolutely love that. Bruce Lee, Think Different up there in the corner. And it just kind of sits nicely there on the wall. Over on the other side, got another canvas there of Bruce Lee. And then another one of my legends, uh, Bob Marley there up the top. Absolutely love Bob Marley and Bruce Lee. And I've just got those pictures kind of sitting around the window there. Really, really like those. Down here below the windowsill, I've got my little Arsenal picture. It's got all of the kind of Arsenal Highbury legends in there, signed and everything. Really, really love that. And then my window sill's just got a whole bunch of kind of bits and pieces on. And in fact, I got this for Christmas. And this is like some, some growing your own Christmas trees. And I put the seeds in. I didn't expect anything to happen. And they've all kind of started growing. Uh, there's a little amp there that I got George for Christmas, which he uses to plug his little kid's guitar in that my mum and dad bought for him. So that's just a little amp there so you can start to learn playing the guitar. Got my little eye placemats there as well which are pretty cool uh, a watch box and then the remote controls for my tv and also my i've forgotten the name of it roku box as well and also there in that little bag is the little bluetooth speaker from vho as well so that's that corner we'll just work our way around here onto the table so in fact here we have got an HP touchpad that's actually running the latest version of Android via the Clockwork mod and uh, it's a pretty cool device. 
admittedly the battery has started to kind of go now so it doesn't last very long but uh, my girlfriend Jade she used to use that a hell of a lot but now she's kind of moved over to a Nexus device now here we have got the transformer pad infinity and I'll just open this up which is quite difficult to do with one hand hang on a sec guys there we go and that is actually the transformer pad infinity docked with the keyboard there and the great thing about that keyboard is that the battery with combine, uh, sorry, combined with the tablet itself will last literally about 18 to 20 hours so a really really great little device there now next to that we have got the Microsoft Surface with the keyboard and the little cover uh, for the Surface itself I love the keyboard don't like the tablet like the hardware but there's so many issues with the software, it's unbelievable. But still kind of enjoying using it and it fits in perfectly when you want to use glass with the Xbox 360, which my son absolutely loves. As I mentioned earlier, the table is made up of a piece of glass along with some old Power Mac G5s, I believe they are. So that's, that glass is just sitting there and it's kind of nice to just sort of sit here, kick your feet up and uh, watch some telly or chill out. I usually chill out in here with my, with my little boy and uh, it's quite nice to sort of just sit down, play some Xbox, watch some movies, etc. Just move that tripod out of the way. Over on the side there, we've got a little lava lamp. Got a fan as well at the side there, just sort of spins around, keeps the room cool in the summer. Got Georgie's guitar. And then we've got this, I think it's a 56 inch sharp full HD TV. And then next to that, we have got my little Wi-Fi unit which is the Apple Airport Express and then we've got the Roku box just on the top of that and then I've got a little TP-Link switch over there just for some networking next down we've got my Sky HD box which is for all the kind of HD cable and satellite reception and then we've got my Xbox 360 wrapped beautifully in an iCarbon that you can check out at iCarbons.com and then next to that we have got what is that? oh that's my son's Skylander based Thing or whatever it is and then we've got this cleaning mitt as well which I think is for cars but it's microfiber so it's kind of ideal for sort of cleaning glass and screens and stuff like that with without damaging it next up on the floor there I've just got a couple of old kind of Windows laptops and then we have got my new white cupboard now on the top I've got a whole bunch of boxes I've got all my Nexus boxes the Nike fuel band the iPhones uh, iPads, iPad mini, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, loads of stuff like that. Got this device here which is a fantastic Pico dolly from photography and cinema.com which is great for doing kind of really cool videos where you want to pan around the subject. Got the old blue microphone, the Yeti there and then we've got my printer sitting on top which is the MG6250 which is for scanning and also for printing. Now the cupboard itself, this cupboard, I can't remember where I got it from, I think it was from Viking and I think it was quite expensive, it was about three or four hundred pounds but it's really nicely made and it's kind of glossy as well. Here we've got my Soul by Ludacris SL headphones, they really are my favourite headphones and I was so glad that I kind of got them. And then if we open this up, in here I've just got like a whole bunch of accessories and stuff in there. In fact, I've even got an old iMac G3 as well sitting in there. I've got loads of kind of charging ports down the bottom, um, loads of little NAS drives as well sitting in there, and then got my photography little bag there. Got loads and loads of other bits that I'm going to be reviewing and stuff over the next few weeks. So really looking forward to bringing you those videos. But that's my little kind of utility cupboard. Let's just close them doors. Now, next up and next to the utility cupboard, we've got my double doors which lead to the rest of my house. And then right above there, in pride of place, we've got the base of an iMac G4 that's been turned into a clock that I absolutely love. Now, down the side here of my door, I've got some <laughs> bits of wood that, um, I don't know why I've got that, but anyway. Uh, I've got a chin-up bar there and then this little instrument here that looks like some kind of torture instrument this is for stretching out your legs and kind of helping you to have a better sort of um, flexibility with your legs when you're doing like kicks in, in martial arts now next to that here and I'll just open this up this little 
beauty here, I don't know if many of you know this, but I actually play the saxophone. And this here is uh, my beautiful saxophone. It's a kind of uh, black and gold sort of, I don't know what you'd really call it, sort of black plated, um, and then it's got all of the gold keys. So yeah, love playing my saxophone. And that's the saxophone there in its box. And that is about it, guys. I don't know if I've missed very much. I'll just kind of pan around so you guys can get another feel for my kind of setup here in my room. Let's just keep going around here. My Mac table, then we've got the TV over there, the cupboard, and then we're out into the rest of the house. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm really, really sorry I took so long away. We're gonna be back with loads and loads more videos over the next few weeks. If there's anything you've seen today that you'd like a video on or you'd like me to give you some more details about, just leave a comment down below. I do read all of them and I will see you guys all in the next video. See ya.